My name is Dale Price. I brought uh, my 1923 T-Bucket Ford Roadster to the car fest. It's, it's very unique. It's a type car, a hot rod that uh, started out uh, being made uh, this type of car in the 1950s. And it's a car that was popular uh, when I was in high school and growing up. Even though I had muscle cars in high school, I always wanted a car like this. It took about two and a half to three years from when I started until I had it uh, where it could be driven. Even going to the store to uh, get milk or bread or anything, it's just a special occasion to get out and drive this car. It's just a lot of fun. It gets a lot of attention from the public. Sometimes it takes a half hour to get gasoline at the, uh, at the convenience store because people come up, like to look at it and ask questions. A lot of people have never seen a car like this and so it, uh, it does garner a lot of attention. That's a lot of fun. It's just uh, whether you're uh, driving it in town or out on the highway or showing it at a car show like this, it's just uh, all aspects of it are a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to plan, a lot of fun to build, and a lot of fun to own and drive. It has a Chevrolet V8 engine and automatic transmission from a car like a Chevy Impala or a Chevy Caprice from the 1970s. And I have had people want to buy it, and sometimes I see things that I would like to maybe do, but uh, in the long run, I, I plan to keep it for a while. Hi, I'm Ward Morrow, and I brought a 1959 Studebaker Silverhawk to the show. We acquired it out of Indiana originally, and I'm in contact with the original owner who did some work on it back in the 70s. It's a good crowd pleaser, and we've had a lot of fun with it. The car has got a high-performance V8 in it. It's what they call power pack. It's got a four barrel, um, race cam, solid lifters, and dual exhaust four-speed transmission on it. It's a very rare car. They made just a little over 5,000 of all of them, and most of those did not have the high-performance V8 in it. My son saw it when we were going for a motorcycle ride. He absolutely fell in love with it. He didn't like old cars, so I thought that was odd that he'd like this one when he didn't like the rest of them. That caused me to stop and go back, ask about the car. And the guy had just bought it the day before in Indiana, brought it down. It took me about six weeks to convince him to sell it to me. It came not too much different than you see it, so it was a matter of maintaining it, keeping it clean, and just driving and enjoying it much of the time. I bought it in 1984, and so we've had it since then and just maintained as need be. For me, it's nostalgia. I'm old enough that I can remember when they were brand new. So it takes me back to a different time period. And you know, you sort of, you don't relive it exactly, but it brings you memories of it. And I've enjoyed it for 30 years. I'm gonna keep it family car now. I don't know that there is a question that I get asked the most. I get lots of comments. Probably the most common comment is, I used to have one, my friend used to have one, my brother had, somebody had one. My name's Jeff Sellers, and my wife and I brought our 1969 Dodge Charger RT to the show here in McAllen. This is the car Dad wouldn't let me have in high school. My son calls it Black Death. It is a documented numbers matching car. It is 512 cubic inch stroker engine, producing approximately 560 horsepower. The 69 Charger is one of the great icons of uh, the American automobile industry. Uh, it, this particular model is getting close to its 50th anniversary and I think without a doubt it'll go into the, the American Automotive Hall of Fame. The biggest thrill for me is not so much the car in and of itself, yeah it's a great car, but the, the car culture throughout the United States, it's great folks. Uh, it's great family fun. We've made friends not only here in Texas, but in shows in California, New Mexico, Louisiana, all over. Probably what I hear most often is, 
I knew somebody or I had one or my second cousin's nephew had one. Or, um, every, everybody has a story about a charger. Well, the black and the red just seem to uh, go well with the body shape. Um, it is also, realistically, it's an intimidating car. And the windows are, are pretty well dark tinted. The electric cutouts, when we open those, besides dumping a lot more horsepower into the engine, it, it's loud and intimidating. Hi, my name is Jose Cantu. I race RC cars. I got into this hobby because these cars are super fun to race with. They run around 55, 60 miles an hour. And well, it's just a good, a good thing to do with my dad. Uh, my car is a DM1 Ofna. It runs for about $500, $600. But it has a little bit more upgrades than just that. It's probably, I'm real proud of it. We upgraded the transmission and the engine. We put a turbo plug on the engine and has different tires, has slicks, so it, so it could get better traction. We got into it because it's just, I don't know, we just thought it would be fun for me and my dad to do it together. It's just, we like racing and instead of racing big cars, it's just, it's just better to race smaller cars. This is a fun hobby to get into, but just to be careful because they're not toys, they're, they're pretty dangerous, so you just got to be careful.